Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Cash Kicks TV. Today we got a video on the new Travis Scott and Fragment collab that recently dropped on the 29th. Honestly, this shoe, the raffles for these shoes were really weird. If you're Canadian, they're borderline impossible to get. And the resale on these are just absolutely ridiculous right now. But before we even get into that, we're on our way to 2,000 subscribers and we are getting closer day by day. So if you find yourself running to my channel all the time, you might as well just hit that subscribe button, man. I'm always popping up on your feed anyway. Just do yourself a favor and just hit the subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you never miss any of my videos. And let's get straight into why we're here today. And that is for the Travis One and Fragment collab. Alright you guys, so let's just get straight into this video. The first thing I wanted to talk about was the raffles that went on for this sneaker. Um, well, the more legit raffles. Uh, those raffles where you see... You know, t um, tell us where you're from and your size and tag three people. Those, I don't, I would never do one of those again. Those are just, I, I'm curious to who really wins those. Like, I'm not promoting your raffle for you guys. Like, no, I'm not tagging three people and then they tag three people. Cool, cool, cool little, you know, marketing strategy, but I, I'm not falling for that shit no more. I, I know that shit ain't going to work, right? But the raffles that were actually... Supposed to be real raffles for this sneaker, like Trophy Room did one, um, Travis Scott did one, but honestly, these raffles were really weird. Let's start off with the Travis Scott one. First of all, we were waiting all day on raffle coming soon, and then the raffle finally did come, and you fill out some information, and then they email you if you win. Like, you could just tell a raffle like that is just... Very, very hard to win. I'm not saying nobody won. Somebody had to have won that raffle. But it's a really, really tough raffle to win. Like, I just can't picture the Travis Scott website emailing me that I've won the raffle to purchase their shoes. Like, can you imagine seeing that in your email? Like, bro. Now, the next raffle trophy room i didn't even complete this raffle because the trophy room raffle i tried it when the last trophy rooms dropped the uh, shiny red ones and it told me that their email was full i couldn't even set i couldn't even like fill the um the raffle out and send it to them because i got a return email saying their email is full so once i saw that i was a little bit late to it I'm like, it's going to tell me the same thing. So, there's no point in completing that raffle at, at all, really. Um, honestly, I understand for them, like, it's, you know, much raffles probably come in. But I think they got to figure out a different way than this whole, like, we're going to email you thing. Like, I don't know. I, I don't like the Instagram thing. I don't like the email thing. So, it's kind of like, what do you want? But I just feel both of them are just, it's just way too hard to win. I'm waiting for an email to tell me that I've won. Like, do you know how lucky you have to be for that day? I'm, I don't think I'm that lucky to receive an email from Travis Scott's website or Trophy Room that, yeah, come purchase these shoes. So, right off the bat, bad start to these shoes for me, right? Now, the next thing. I know you guys are probably tired of hearing me say this, but it's just the reality. These sneakers are not made for Canadians to get at all. When I'm doing these raffles, it doesn't even say, it doesn't even give me an option to put postal code. That's how you know these, it's, it's, it's not for me. It's actually me the American, what is it? Zip code. Don't know why I forgot that. It just asks for the zip code. So I already know this ain't for, me, for no Canadians right there, right? But, we literally have nowhere to get these shoes. I checked sneakers. They weren't even getting it. Sneakers Canada. Right? I'm, let's not even go into the F word. Right? We know they're not getting anything. Champs, of course, they weren't getting anything when it comes to this sneaker. Where do we go to get these sneakers? Basically, what they're saying, whatever the re if you really want these sneakers, whatever the resale is, go there and that's the only way, that's the only chance you have. Is paying that resale, whatever it is. If it's 
ten thousand or or five thousand or one thousand that's your only option we do not care to give you this shoe for retail or give you the chance let me just have that feeling that i have a chance that's all we want to feel that's all we want to feel is that you know we we gave it a go we, we tried we had a chance and we lost we know we're losing but sometimes just that chance that little thrill you get like yo am i gonna win? that's all i'm looking for i can't even feel that i can't even feel just the excitement of possibly winning one of these sneakers. I already know I'm not winning, but it's tough, man. I know you guys are probably saying, well, move. It's not that easy. It is not that easy. You know what I mean? Like, I, I just don't see why we can't try to... It's not like we're acting like are people not going to buy them over here or something. Like, I, I don't know, man. I don't know. But the main reason why I wanted to do this video, it wasn't to complain about it not being available in Canada. That's becoming old news to us, right? It wasn't really about the raffles. That's annoying, but whatever. Getting used to that too. It was because the ridiculous resale price on these already. Bro, I went on GOAT today just curious to see what these were going for. In my size, $4,113. Plus a duty fees, I'm going to say another 1000 probably on that. If not, more. So we're talking five grand right off the bat for these. Now don't get me wrong, I get it. It's a Travis Scott and Fragment. The regular Fragments are about six grand. So it's actually more than these. But that shoe is a little bit different, man. Like, it's been around for a long time, and it's known as a legendary sneaker. This shoe? Come on, bro. Four grand for these? Bro, I've never seen a shoe where there's a high top and low top that drop, and the low top is 100% better how is the low top better than your high top? That's crazy. Yo, the low top is mad. It's mod fun. But, what's the resale on that one going to be then? It, it, it's going to be more than the high top probably. Everyone knows that the low top is better. Right? It hasn't dropped yet. It's it, I think it's dropping sometime in August. But, I just feel, let this shoe be. Like, of course, it's already hyped, but, like, whenever a shoe drops, usually you have that little period of, like, I would say, like, a month to three months where the shoe slowly, like, rises. And you have your chance, if you really want them, get it right away because it just dropped. So, you know, the price is still not at its peak yet, which is probably still the case for these. So, what's the price going to be three months from now for these? So, basically, anyone in Canada, if you want these shoes, you got to pay five grand for them. Because there was no retail option. And say one of these stores do get them. Say a Central from Montreal gets them. Right? What do you think they're going to charge? You think they're going to say, yeah, 200 or whatever it was retail? 200 USD. So, 260, 270 Canadian. You think they're going to do that? No, they're going to go on GOAT or they're going to go on Stock X, see what they're charging, and that's going to be their price. So we absolutely had no chance over here in Canada to get these shoes. We'll say someone that's willing to spread the, to, to pay that bread is going to get them. Tip my cap to you. I'm not paying that. I didn't have the opportunity to even get them for retail. I'm not paying that. Nah, that's crazy, bro. Honestly, this was like, I just had to get this out to make me feel a little bit better about it. Um, the low tops, we're going to be in the same the same uh, boat there. Like, There's going to be no chance to get them over here unless we pay the, re the resale, which it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. How do you guys feel about these, man? Do you, do you think it's worth 
to pay the resale for these? Like, is it a investment worth it? Like, do you think one day this shoe is going to be worth double that? Like, that's the only way I could see me investing in that shoe. Where I'm like, yo, this shoe's going to be worth 10 grand one day. That's the only way. Like, it's at the point when the resale goes up that much, you can't even think about keeping the shoe. If you got this shoe for $200 and you're in America and you could sell them for $4,000, bro, I think you just automatically sell them. Like, only celebrities could really enjoy and wear this shoe. Like, I'm not keeping this shoe, rocking it to nowhere when I can sell that shoe for Thor for $4,000. No, absolutely not. So, we, we don't even really have the option to wear them anyway, but... Man, I just wanted to get this video out that the price on these are just ridiculous. The raffles are garbage. And we got to do a better job of making sure that everyone has a chance to get these shoes. That's pretty much it. Like I said in the beginning of this video, we are on our way to 2,000 subscribers. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you found this video any relatable or entertaining, make sure you hit that like button. And that's pretty much it. I'm Cash Kicks TV. And we out. What it do, uh? Sauce up on you too, uh? You know I'm dripping, baby, and you dripping too. Uh? I know you love me, baby, and I love you too. Uh? I know you love me, baby, and I love you too. Uh?